comes to some golf exercises, the, you know, it's probably more beneficial for me anyways. And so I'm trying to improve it, improve my, my turn, uh, to allow myself to, uh, shallow the club and square the club face through impact. Uh, so for 2019, I get back to playing better golf. So one of the reasons that I can't turn correctly is because that from the top of the swing there, I like to kind of yank and pull like most golfers do and I kind of cuff the wrist. So when I'm working on my golf swing and I don't hit golf balls working on this just because it's too technical and I, I confuse myself, I can't really think much on the downswing except, you know, good balance and be aggressive with my body and lazy with my arms. But when I get to the top and if I yank, I steep and, and then I can't turn. So I got to kind of slide to clear space and then I have to flip. So with this saber stick, the heavy side, I go to the top and I'm kind of feeling the club shallow here. And it's more with my wrist flexion doing kind of that bowing motion. You know, it's kind of awkward, but I'm not using my arms. I'm not casting. I'm just kind of feeling that. And then I can pivot and keep the club face square through impact. So I hit straighter shots and I'm also more powerful with my body turn. And I just realized with this little band I got here, I got it on Amazon for like $5 a while back, but I saw it laying around, so I'm gonna put this on my doorknob right here. And I'm gonna shut the door so it's stable. So now I'm getting in this golf, uh, my powerful golf setup where I'm really, you know, maybe 53% on my left side, but I'm more in my arches of my feet, I'm not towards my toes, I'm more just in the middle. So now I'm going to, you know, simulate the backswing turn with my hips and shoulders on there. So now I feel the pressure in my right heel so I can tap my right toes. Now I'm going to just pivot with my body, but I'm not using my arms to pull it. I'm just pivoting and I'm trying to feel centered as I turn. And I feel my pressure go from my right foot into my right toe and then into my left heel. And I'm staying real centered. My shoulders are turning in posture. And this is how I'm going to make those swing changes and also develop some, you know, hip, hip strength so I can be more powerful through the golf ball. What people don't realize is when you use your body, you also square the club face more. You don't want to be swinging smooth. You want to be powerful so the club face doesn't have time to flip over. So try it out. Uh, you can do a lot of this stuff at home. You don't need to get to a golf course or a gym.